Hi there, it's Jen from Something Turquoise. And as you might know, I'm absolutely obsessed with my Cricut Explorer. I actually just got the new Cricut Explorer Air 2, and of course it's fabulous. But um, I seem to be hearing lately that some of the, some of the new um, Cricut buyers out there are kind of having trouble finding out where to start with, um, with doing text projects and creating their own text files. Um, some people have even, you know, told me that they feel like they have to buy custom files off of Etsy to upload and use with their Cricut because uh, working with the fonts themselves just seems too, um, too daunting to them. So today I just wanted to take a few minutes to share some of my favorite text tools within Cricut Design Space um, to, to give you that confidence that anybody can design anything they want using all the simple tools that are right in Design Space. So if you uh, click this link right here at the bottom of the post, it will actually take you right into the two files that I've already created. But what I wanted to show you was exactly how I created these files from scratch. So here are the two signs that I made, but I'm going to break it down from the beginning. So here's a blank canvas. What I like to do is start with just adding um, a shape of whatever item I'm going to be putting my uh, design onto. So I know I'm going to do uh, an 8x10 piece of paper here. And I think I'm going to uh, color it teal. Why not? So this kind of just helps me get organized with my colors and make sure that I like how everything's laid out. So um, I'm not actually going to cut this square. This is just here for looks. So we're going to start by adding text. So I'm going to say, she said. And this isn't the font that I'm looking for, but I know that if I click over here into the font panel, I'm looking for a wildflower. But the problem with wildflower is there's way too much space here in between these letters, right? So the number one favorite tool, text tool that I have for you is this letter spacing tool. So by clicking uh, minus or up or down here, <clears throat> we're going to either increase or decrease the tracking in between the letters. So I'm really going to take it down pretty far here because I want it to look more like, like it's handwritten. Um, Keep going until I see that all those little edges are covered and hidden. And I think that's about good right there. Maybe one more click. And then kind of like how that looks. So I'm going to actually change this to white because I'm going to do white glitter. And right here you can see these little lines, all these little lines right here. Those are actually going to be cut lines. So what we're going to do, I want this whole piece to be one giant sticker. So all you're going to do is hit weld. And that's going to actually take that entire, all those letters that hold those, the two words. Now it's just one giant sticker. No cut lines in between, nothing. So tracking and weld. And now you can resize it however you'd like to. You can unclick the lock and size it up and down, whatever you like. Okay, so now we're going to insert an image. I'm going to insert the ring. And I mean, there's thousands of images in here that you can search through. Here's the ring. <clears throat> and once it's added in here, um, you'll be able to see in the layers panel that there's actually, it's actually two full layers, like. One is um, this whole back side piece, and then this little top piece. Well, I, don't, I only want to cut this little tiny top piece out. I don't need that whole backing. So I'm going to actually, these are all selected here, and I'm going to hit slice. What that's going to do is it's going to cut everything out from itself, like a, like a puzzle piece. So now I have two backings here. So I'm just going to delete one. And now you can see that it just cut, cut it right out. So now I'm going to save um, materials because I only really wanted that little piece. Okay, now I can color this white to go with my other words. And now the last part is yes. And I'm going to go back into the font panel here and I want straight and simple. Okay, so same thing here. You can click unlock to kind of 
just the sizing, maybe minus the tracking a little bit, and then, then you're good. Move this over here just a little bit. Okay, so here's another common mistake is that you think everything looks good and then you go, click go, and you're like, why is my thing all messed up here? Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this actually, this piece here, to, come on, bring this piece all the way to the front. Move to the front. I'm just going to select these three white pieces because the white pieces are all going to be cut out of the same material and I want them all cut exactly like that layout is right now. I'm going to hit attach. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, this is one big piece that you can continue to resize in and of itself. You don't want to because you want it to still fit this ring here. So I'm going to pull it back out to fit. a little bit more there we go okay so now when you click go you'll see the whole thing is one whole piece just like you have it laid out and then there's your second little diamond and we're not going to cut that part so if you don't want to cut that part you could just turn it off here in the layers panel <coughs> excuse me and then there you are you're good to go so I hope that this uh, little video helped you learn a little bit about the slice and the weld and the attach features and uh, the tracking with the, the fonts is a, is a big one so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that she says yes <laughs>